Jay-Z has 99 problems, but an empty wallet ain't one. At the time of producing this video, the hip-hop icon had a net worth of $1.4 billion. He can buy just about anything his heart desires, from fancy watches to expensive hypercars. Jay-Z and his wife Beyonce own a fabulous $88 million mansion in Los Angeles, as well as an idyllic retreat in the Hamptons. Becoming hip-hop's first billionaire wasn't an easy feat. Jay-Z earned his wealth through shrewd investments and wise business decisions. He once owned a significant stake in the Brooklyn Nets, and there are reports that he may soon buy an NFL team. Here's a look at how Jay-Z spends his billions. Jay-Z reached billionaire status back in 2019, but this year he saw his net worth rise 40% in a single day, thanks to a deal with LVMH. The luxury goods company bought a 50% stake in Jay-Z's champagne house, Armand de Brignac, aka Ace of Spades. The champagne brand was worth about $630 million at the time, which means Jay-Z pocketed at least $315 million. It's deals like this that have made Jay-Z uber wealthy. He has made at least $80 million per year over the last decade, and he and his wife Beyonce have a combined net worth of $1.8 billion. Jay-Z can buy whatever he wants, his real estate portfolio is worth more than $100 million, and his palatial pads are filled with luxurious amenities that make some five-star hotels look like dingy motels. His $2.6 million mansion in New Orleans is one of America's most unique homes. It was once a church, but Jay-Z and Beyonce converted it into a spacious and elegant 13,000 square foot vacation home. The seven bedroom, eight bathroom property dates all the way back to 1925 and has a gorgeous living green roof filled with foliage. The home's master suite has a large bathroom with an antique bathtub, as well as a massive walk-in closet where Jay-Z stores his stylish threads. Even more impressive is the $26 million retreat that the couple owns in the Hamptons. Lovingly referred to as the Pond House, the 12,000 square foot home has seven bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, and a three car garage. The picturesque abode overlooks Georgica Pond, which means the sunsets are absolutely breathtaking. The home's master suite has a private terrace, French stone fireplace, and his and hers dressing rooms. The historic 100-year-old home is packed with antiques, but it also has many modern amenities, including a screening room. The crown jewel in Jay-Z's real estate portfolio is undoubtedly his $88 million Bel Air estate. We wouldn't be surprised if it had its own zip code. It's that massive. The 30,000 square foot mansion was built using glass, steel, and the world's finest travertine marble. Every inch of the home was built exactly to Jay-Z and Beyonce's specifications. The eight bedroom, 11 bathroom, ultra modern mansion has bulletproof windows, a rooftop infinity pool, a spa and cinema. Bulletproof windows might seem out of place, but it's better to be safe than sorry. You'll find a basketball court and three more pools on the 1.88 acre property. Jay-Z can put on his Kevin Durant jersey and shoot hoops anytime he wants. Jay-Z's car collection is eclectic and expensive. His entire collection is worth over $50 million and he owns some pieces that are more precious than diamonds. His Maybach Exolero is worth a staggering $8 million. It's a one-off concept car, so it's no surprise the price tag was so high. Jay-Z famously used the Exolero in the music video for his hit song, Lost One, which in our opinion makes the car even more valuable. It's an absolute beast as it pumps out 690 horsepower and can reach a top speed of 218 miles per hour. It's not the only extremely fast car in Jay-Z's garage. His $1.4 million Pagani Zonda F can go from 0 to 60 in just 3.4 seconds and can reach a top speed of 214 miles per hour. The 650 horsepower Zonda F is so rare that only 40 were ever produced. Billionaires really love Bugattis and Jay-Z is no exception. He owns a $2 million Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. But here's the thing, he didn't open his wallet to purchase this beauty. It was actually a birthday gift from Beyonce. And what a gift it was because the Veyron Grand Sport is one of the fastest cars in the world with a top speed of 250 miles per hour. What else would you expect from a hypercar with a 1,000 horsepower engine? Jay-Z has bought some nice gifts for Beyonce over the years as well, including a stunning $1 million Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud. Cars don't get much more classy than the Silver Cloud. The classic auto, which was in production from 1955 to 1966, is quite rare. There are only 2,716 left in the wild. Needless to say, it's a white whale for many auto collectors. Speaking of vintage cars, Jay-Z owns a few of those himself. His $150,000 57 Chevy Corvette C1 may not be the most expensive car in his garage, but it's stunning nonetheless. 
The beautiful convertible is the perfect car for cruising down the California coast. The 4.6 liter V8 pumps out just 283 horsepower. Not that impressive now, but back in the 50s, it was a powerhouse. The C1 isn't the only classic convertible in Jay-Z's collection. He was spotted in Italy with his peppy 1966 Alfa Romeo Spider. The classic car is worth about $115,000, and Jay-Z and Beyonce enjoyed driving the compact car through the Italian countryside. You might be surprised to learn that Jay-Z is something of an art connoisseur. He and Beyonce have an art collection that's worth at least $100 million. One of their rarest and most valuable pieces is Jean Michael Bisquet's Mecca, which is worth about $4.5 million. How often do you see Jay-Z without an expensive timepiece on his wrist or a heavy gold chain around his neck? Practically never. His $200,000 custom-made gold chain might just be the most iconic piece of jewelry in the hip-hop world. The famous Cuban chain weighs a mind-boggling 11 pounds. It's flashy and garish, but hey, Jay-Z has earned the right to show off. When Jay-Z wants a more understated look, he opts for a luxurious watch like this $2.2 million Patek Philippe Grandmaster Chime 6300G. He was spotted wearing the rare timepiece at Diddy's 50th birthday party. The white gold watch sports a reversible case as well as two dials, one black and one white. A million dollar party calls for a million dollar watch. Jay-Z is so rich that he can afford to go on a lavish trip anytime he wants. When he flies, he does so surrounded by opulence. He and Beyonce own a private jet that's worth $40 million. Their Bombardier Challenger 850 Learjet comes in handy when Jay-Z has to attend important business meetings with overseas investors. Beyonce actually bought the plane as a Father's Day gift for Jay-Z in 2012, and it's certainly come in handy over the years. Jay-Z and Beyonce don't own a yacht of their own, but they have no problem spending millions to rent amazing super yachts. They recently vacationed in the Mediterranean aboard the 450-foot-long Flying Fox. They chartered the 67-foot-wide super yacht at a cost of $4 million per week. Frankly, this was a wise decision, as buying the yacht would cost $400 million. Jay-Z may be rich, but he's not that rich. If your net worth is less than $10 billion, a super yacht is out of the question. Jay-Z is financially savvy, but it's not uncommon for him to blow obscene amounts of money on gifts and parties. In 2018, he spent $110,000 in a single night to celebrate the birthday of his close friend and Rock Nation business partner, Juan O.G. Perez. Jay-Z shelled out the cash for an epic birthday celebration that consisted of 40 bottles of Ace of Spades champagne, lobster, steak, and sushi. The food cost a mere $13,000. It was the booze that made the bill skyrocket. Jay-Z and Beyonce say wanted their daughter Blue Ivy to have a fabulous first birthday, so they spent $95,000 on pink roses and $2,400 on a birthday cake. The pair also spent $30,000 on costumes and toys. Jay-Z has been on a hot streak lately when it comes to investing. He owns a stake in companies like Uber, Oatly, and SpaceX. He's very forward-thinking when it comes to investing, and he's always looking for new trends. He recently invested $20 million to found JetSmarter, which is essentially the Uber of air travel. There are also rumblings that Jay-Z is on the lookout for an NFL team. There are reports he's shown interest in buying the Denver Broncos. Jay-Z is no stranger to buying sports teams. He used to be part owner of the Nets and was instrumental in moving the team from New Jersey to Brooklyn. He purchased a small stake in the Nets in 2004 for $1 million and then sold that stake in 2013 for $2.35 million. It was a tidy profit and a sign of things to come. Square recently purchased an $80,000 stake in Jay-Z's music streaming platform title. The deal was reportedly worth $302 million. Jay-Z purchased the company in 2015 for just $56 million. Here's a fun fact. Do you know that Jay-Z once rode the subway to a performance at the Barclay Center? He even took time to talk to fellow passengers. Wow, what a revelation. One human talking to another. <laughs> Call me crazy, doesn't that happen every day? Jay-Z was worth more than $500 million at the time, but he chose to use his Metro card instead of traveling in an expensive limo. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.